Hey, what's going on everybody? We are doing another fantastic tour and I got my buddy John here. He has got this really cool step van and you guys can probably figure out where he got it from. But we're gonna get into all of that, what the heck he built inside of and you guys are gonna be shocked by this, I can't wait. If you're new to the channel, go subscribe because I not only do tours, I also do vlogs, I do product reviews, I do building my own van, I do it all. But we're gonna focus on this man today because he's done phenomenal work. So let's get right into that. What's up, man? How's it going? How are you? Good, it's my uh, second day out of the army. Second day out of the army. I wasn't gonna bring up the army, but if you did, that's yeah, cool. Free citizen, well, you're gonna see all the <laughs> That's true too. I got a bunch of uniforms. Obviously, thank you for serving the country. Yeah. Appreciate it. You are now second day out, and now you are a van lifer. Yep, I am free. I can go anywhere and do anything. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have to answer to anybody. You know, uh, we can talk about your plans eventually. I want you to kind of just walk me through maybe the outside real quick because we're not gonna spend too much of time on the outside because it's. Yeah. Super stealth from what I see. This is a 98 uh, Grumman Olsen step van. It was obviously used to be a FedEx truck. Yep. But now it's the, now it's officially the X round. <laughs> okay. Uh, 60 gallon diesel tank and, uh, and a manual transmission. You want to walk on in and we can kind of go through this? Cause yeah, sure. it looks like you have a, uh, a door that looks like it would take a lot to get through right now. Yeah, it's like, it's, uh, it's like, you know, it's like a partial bank vault in there. Cause <laughs> they don't want people stealing the packages. Hey, this is great. So I got, uh, I got the outside lighting. Now we're in, we're in, you know, towards the end of the day, so we can't see how bright that yeah. is, but that's pretty bright. Yeah. And then I got a cool porch light. Porch light? <laughs> yeah. And you got, have a key to get in your house. Yeah. Like, just like a normal house. Yep. Just like a normal house. So I got the first door. Wait a minute. You have two doors? Yep. But then I got my custom. My custom built. Uh, well, I won't look at your your code, but there looked like there was a pad code there. Yeah, no, I didn't. so I got my uh, custom built second door. It's insulated because this I can't insulate this door because it can't be any thicker than it already is. Okay. So I built a whole. This is a door frame I built, and I built the whole second door from scratch to fit in the door frame. Wow. And I had uh, I had a company custom cut the sheet metal for me, so really? I could match the outside of the van. This is really pretty. Yeah. And yeah, it was a uh, laser cut on a giant laser cutter. It's, it was uh, a 10 foot by eight, uh, four foot sheet of aluminum. I just want to point out, I, we all just walked in just now, right? And this, if you had it all closed up yeah. in your cab, it looked like a regular old truck. Yep, uh, the cab is 100% still plain FedEx truck. I'm going to switch spots with you and we're going to work our way back if that's yeah. cool. Uh, so I got, uh, I got three zones of lighting. Yeah. Uh, Nice. Yeah. So I got, yeah, I got a kitchen, I got a dining room, and I got a bedroom light. Beautiful. Uh, they're on three-way switches, uh, so that I can also turn them off from my. So I can turn them on when I come home. And I can turn them off when I go to bed. And they're all on dimmer switches. And then I have uh, a three-way switch for the porch light, so I can turn it on inside and turn it off outside with it. Uh, then I got this uh, awesome 12-volt fridge from Home Depot. It is half the price. I was researching the, you know, the the fifteen hundred dollar fridges i really want to i really want a big freezer right because i hate cooking i do a lot of meal prep so I, I cook i usually cook in big batches so i wanted a big fridge and well i have plenty of room i could put a i could put a residential fridge in here if i wanted so this is a 12 volt yeah yep. 12 volt 750 700 700 yeah, bucks? yeah it's like 750 800 bucks okay like that. and then i also got uh like i got the warranty on it so that way if my diesel engine vibrates this thing to death yeah. in like three years i can just go to home depot i go to any home depot in the country and pick up another one and it, and just slide it right you in. have a three-year warranty on that thing yeah exactly. okay and you were just looking up for 12 volt fridges yeah. and that's what popped up yeah i was googling i was googling the you know the standard van life fridges yeah and i saw a little ad for for a, a thing on uh home depot and i clicked on it and i was reading through it and it's apparently there for uh off-grid houses that's genius yeah yeah i got a full-size freezer uh, and a full-size fridge right and yeah. how do you because that, if that's our, that's not made for RVs, yeah. it's made for off-grid yeah. cabins. So how do you lock it? Yeah. Yeah. So I rigged up. Uh, these are just child locks that I got from Home Depot. Nice. And I made this little custom bracket to hold them. That's beautiful. Yep. So that's how I lock it there. And then I had extra space, so I built these drawers. And then this is um, this is my most used drawer. Whoa! Look how deep that drawer is. Yeah, it goes all the way back. So this is my drawer of screws. <laughs> I, I personally own over a thousand dollars worth of screws. Not in this drawer; they're all throughout the house. <laughs> so there's not a single nail in this entire build. If you want to share pricing of the entire yeah. build, you can do that throughout the entire yeah. video. It's totally up to you. Yeah. You have a really cool bench that you kind of like double converted, yeah. I guess. So uh, my my layout is a uh, it's actually the Trenton Alley layout. Yeah. Um, yeah, I copied their layout. Shout out Trenton Alley. Yeah, shout out to Trenton Alley. And uh, so this, this is the Trenton Alley layout. If it was literally double the size cool so this is actually where the sliding door is on the trend alley layout so i decided to add an extra water tank right here 
And then I, then I was like, I was looking at the water tank, I'm like, that looks a lot like a bench seat. So I was like, <laughs> you know what, if I put a hinge in my countertop, just like Trent and Alley have on their, on their stove, then I have this cool bench seat. And then if I sit in this bench seat, it's a great spot to take my shoes on and off. And, I can, and then I have my guest charger for my, my friends hanging out that can charge their phone. Also said at the beginning of the video, you just moved into this, you said two yeah, days ago, one day? This is my second day living in here. Is it is not complete? Yeah, no, it's uh, it's about 95% complete. There so, you go. So this is eventually going to have cabinet doors. There's going to be a, a little door up here, and there's going to be a cabinet door. I just don't want anybody yeah. judging my man over here yeah. for yeah. an uncompleted van. Yeah, I budgeted six months to a year for my build. Yeah. And I'm one year, eight months in. And then you yeah. also told me your plans uh, are going to be kind of cool if you're okay yep. with sharing them. So uh, the reason I built this is I'm actually going to be going to college um, using my GI Bill to yep. become a professional helicopter pilot. I love it. So the plan is to live two years of college, and then when I get out, um, entry-level helicopter jobs pay nothing. So I'm gonna let, I'll, I'll live in a parking lot in an airport for two years while I build up hours, so then I can make the cool guy money and get the cool guy job. Yeah, I love that, that's a great plan. We have a plenty of room in the step van, so you have a shower that can almost fit two people. Yep, 32 by 32 um, single piece fiberglass shower from Home Depot. <laughs> oh, nice. You were telling me a minute ago that yeah. most of your stuff yeah, came from Home Depot. Yeah, everything except the plywood pretty much came from Home Depot. That's uh, crazy. Lowe's has much better plywood. Okay, that's yeah. good to know. Um, Home Depot has a better selection of everything, except their 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 wood selection is pretty bad. Lowe's is on point with their wood selection, so all the plywood you see is Lowe's. Okay, and, so and everything else is Home Depot. Good to know for all those DIYers out yeah, there. I, and my countertop as well. So this was a single piece countertop. I'm a single single piece butcher block. Yeah. And I uh, since I have a table saw and a cross cut saw, which oh. everybody on Reddit told me I was an idiot for buying and that I wasted my money on. Okay. Which um they can all go to. <laughs> because I use my cross cut and I use my miter saw and my table saw on every single thing I did in this entire build. But, uh, I had a chunk of the countertop left over, so I put it on my table saw, sliced it in half, put this nice bevel on it, and there I made this backsplash out of the chunk of countertop. This looked real yep. to me, which is so awesome. This is my favorite part of the build because I have a $400 countertop and I have a $10 <laughs> Amazon wallpaper. And everybody walks into my van and is like, whoa, that is an awesome backsplash. Uh, it's so, so cool. Yeah, that is literally it. $10 Amazon wallpaper on there. I love it. It's I, really good. So I was originally actually going to go with, uh, I got a couple of samples and I kind of hated both of them. And it would have cost me like $200 to go to do either one of these. Nice. And, and I looked at them. 10 bucks. Yeah, I put them up there and I was just like, I wasn't really super happy with them. They looked kind of weird. So then I was like, you know what? I'm just going to buy the $10 because, you know, the, they, they suggest stuff. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, I was just going to buy the $10 one and, just, you know, if it doesn't work, I'll just throw it in the garbage. And I put it up there and, like, everybody's like, that's awesome. So, like, yeah, don't don't spend a lot of money on your backsplash. Full on microwave, like so this, this thing. This, I, this is overkill. This is overkill. This, we I, haven't I, gone to overkill yet. Yeah. We are getting there. This, this is, I, I'll, I'll admit, this is a little over the top. Okay. <laughs> so this is a full size, um, over the range microwave. It's actually about double the width of a regular microwave. All right. It pulls uh, um, 1800 watts when you use it. But the good news is I only use it for like like one to two minutes at a time. Yeah. So it's not, that's not, I have a 3000 watt inverter. So yeah. it's, it's not too much of a problem. It's vented to the outside. So I have a little vent in the outside that pops open on, oh, a, okay. on a magnet. And then I can also uh, vent it from here. So eventually I'm gonna get an induction cooktop. I wanted to show off something else that you have up on the top of your shower. Oh yeah, so the coolest part about the shower is um, when you, I, I do a lot of water sports, so I'm, I'm a white water raft guide, and uh, I'm always coming in wet. Yeah. So if you come in wet, I have this awesome folding uh, drying rack. And I asked you where you got that from, yep. and I was astonished by where you said. Yep, that's a Home Depot. Another Home Depot product. Yep. Yeah, 90% of this stuff, Home Depot. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was like, yeah. wow, I didn't know Home Depot made, you know, cool drying racks like this. Yeah. All right, we'll switch sides and then we'll finish it off. So it has temperature and on off. You, How do you heat your hot water? I got a five gallon electric hot water heater from Home Depot. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Home Depot better send me some. So I know, I right? They got to sponsor you on yeah. this one. The shower looks fancy as all heck. Yeah. How do you like it? Uh, I love it. I took my second shower in it ever yet uh, this morning. I went nice. for a jog this morning, took a shower in here. It was great. How many gallons of water do you have on board? So I have a 30 gallon tank, 30 gallon tank, 30 gallon tank. 
So that's uh, 369, 90 gallons. Okay, and, and it, that's 90 gallons of fresh. Yeah, that's 90 gallons fresh. Holy crap, that's a lot. Yeah, and then I got uh, 30 gallon gray for the sink. Okay. Um, only because the, the, the hank's on the wheel well, so it's actually higher. That's all, that's as high as I could go before I wouldn't drain. I got a 15 gallon shower because um, that's all I could fit under these, this particular spot. I, I, I wanted my shower here and then I had to work around Right. Yeah, because there's a couple, there's some stuff under there. And you were telling me all of your tanks are inside with the exception of this yeah. one. So except for the shower, I put everything inside so I can um, year round live in here without worrying about freezing. That's super awesome, man. Yeah. Good for you. Oh, and speaking of heat, so right here under here, I got an S2 heater from S Bar. Yeah, S Bar. Yep. Yeah, S Bar. That's what you said. Awesome heater, and the best part, my favorite thing, is it's a thermostat. Nice. So you just set it for what you want. If you notice, it's exactly. 67 degrees in here yeah it is i also love talking yeah. behind the wall stuff you yeah. told me off camera that you have crazy insulation in here oh yeah so so this so no i'm six feet tall yeah i have this, i have you know this much this much room above me so i have two inches of insulation on the floor a uh, half inch of plywood and then i have three and a half inches of insulation up here that's crazy so if you look at my fan you'll notice how much space there is between the, the ceiling and the fan right because that's all wool insulation up there that's crazy so i can park it in direct sunlight and get my solar panels charged without like completely roasting to death in here. How much solar do you have on the roof currently? So I ha currently have 400 watts. Right. And I have room for, I have two panels and I have room for two more. So eventually I'm gonna have 800 watts. These step vans, I tell you. And that's that's conservative. If I want like every square inch, I could probably do 1200 watts up there. You know, I just noticed that there's actually no windows in here, but I do not feel cramped at all. Yeah. So I, do, I have the only window I got is in the front door. And then I have that sliding metal door. One of my favorite things is that I don't have windows. I actually love it. Yeah. Everybody, everybody when they see me at first, they're like, where's your windows? Where's your window? I'm like, do you realize I live in a parking lot, right? The, the, <laughs> like, the ventilation that you yeah. have is actually perfect. Yeah. Because, because, so I have two roof fans. Yep. Um, so I do one in, one out. And then I have, uh, I can open that window too. It's got a screen on it. If you need to, right. Yep. Uh, just out of curiosity, you seem like you've watched probably umpteen amount of yep. YouTube videos yeah, of, on Van Life. I, 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 before I started, I was four years deep in YouTube videos. Really? Yeah. So how many, estimate, what do you think you're at? How many, how many have you watched? <sighs> Hundreds. <laughs> Hundreds. <laughs> Actually, so I am so good. At, I've watched so many of them. Yeah. I know where I can skip to, to get to certain parts. <laughs> So I can pull like let's say I want to learn about somebody's fridge. Yeah. I can pull up the video and like I I know about where on the timestamp they're going to talk about the fridge. Oh my goodness, yeah, that's based crazy. On, based on where if they're going front to back or back to front. And oddly enough, you didn't go with anybody's fridge. Yeah, yeah. I was researching fridges for years, that's like funny. literally years. That's I had funny. like five candidates, and then I just randomly found that one for half the price. Yeah, that comes in three sizes. That's medium. That's do you that goes bigger? Yeah. So there's a full size. There's one. It's a you know it's a. Uh, you know, it's like this tall, okay. freestanding. And you also have another massive object. You have a oh. fridge that's huge. I mean, no, excuse me, fridge, sink. Yeah, so a uh, fun fact about sinks. Yeah. Just because you live in a tiny house doesn't mean you have tiny pots. That guy, and yes. They're the same size as every other pot and pan in the world. <laughs> so if you get the little bar sink, your regular size pan is not going to fit in it. I wanted a sink that was, I, I could, I, my ideal sink would be about this about this big okay but they don't make that they make a sink this big and they make a sink this big yeah so i decided to go with this sink and the cool thing about this sink is it's got the drain all the way in the corner i saw that that's so interesting it frees up the space underneath your underneath your sink because now the drains all the way to one side right another great thing so this is a regular faucet so we got a regular faucet but if you ever worked in a restaurant you got oh super spray the, yeah, yeah. The, restu the restaurant sprayer again more seating yeah benching for like uh, four people if you need it yeah so i got the uh the lagoon table mount yep and it was definitely wasn't designed to have a table the size of like a regular house table belt bolted to it no so if you notice it's downhill this way and downhill that way a little bit but uh it works i also want to compliment your your cur like your your yep. your bend here because it's very aesthetically pleasing to the eye yeah i'm obsessed with efficiency okay uh, efficiency is everything so i hate wasted space so i designed this I designed it to be this big, but my shower is this big. Sure. So instead of just building it straight and wasting like this much space, I I, I spent the nightmare, you know, day and a half on my table saw yeah. to figure out how to build a drawer that was, you know, rhombus shaped. <laughs> so that's awesome though. Yeah. That's a massive drawer. You know, the, well, I think that drawer is big. This one's double the size. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh, and this one's got a metal bottom to it. If you look kind of down that corner okay so that's leftover metal from my door because i had to buy a 10 foot sheet of metal to get that door made hey you're all about repurposing yep so my heater is directly under this oh. door 
So I figured I'd put a metal bottom on this drawer in case anything weird happens. With sure, the yeah, that's actually great. Instead of having a piece. Of I think you said you had a pantry too, right? Oh yeah. So I got, I got this pantry. That's super cool. You don't really get to it from this side. Yeah. And again, I had extra space, so instead of building it square, I'm gonna put a bunch of little shelves here for. But um, I I don't know a lot of t-shirts. Yeah. Like hundreds of t-shirts. Well, not hundreds, but you I love buying t-shirts and collecting t-shirts. So what I did, I want my goal is to be able to see every t-shirt I own at the same time. So I built this special t-shirt pantry. You didn't show me this before. Yeah. It's, you just called it a t-shirt pantry? Yep. So it's a pantry, but it's designed for t-shirt. Yeah, if you notice, even the toe kick has... <laughs> even the toe kick has yep. a slide on yep. it. And right. there's a cutout right here because I have uh, the pipes for the shower. So instead of making it this much smaller, again, efficiency, yep. I, I spent another you know nightmare, hour and a half, you know, making that cutout. Hey, everything's custom in a van, right? Yep. You have everything electronically wise right here yep. for you. It's so, all super so this easy. Is the control panel. Uh, if you got a service control panel, it's actually on hinges. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, so I can get to the back of it real quick. Oh, beautiful. Yep, everybody on Reddit, Reddit, Roasted me for using wire nuts. I switched to crimps after I did that panel. I noticed you have a light right here. What yep. what does that do? So I have three indicator lights. Okay. So this one means that my water pump is on. So if I turn this little switch off, yeah. that, yeah, oh, look that at that, it goes off. Yep. Cool. So the other one, so this one is my headlights. So if I accidentally leave the headlights of the truck on, that light goes on. So smart. And then my ra my truck radio is is wired up to my house battery. Uh -huh. So that way I can listen, I can, you know, when I'm not using my surround sound for for entertainment i can use that radio for entertainment sure and that way i realized i left it on because there's a switch to turn it on oh, man. it doesn't work by the key these are my outside lights so i can turn on my outside lights by the switch on switch in the cab oh i see how they're marked yeah yep. driver back pass yeah yep if i hear anything weird going on outside i can just light the entire neighborhood up in one shot right from my bed <laughs> i noticed this has an engine and a water yep what does that mean so i have an engine block heater because the diesel engine doesn't start in the cold so right. It's got the plug you plug into a house. Right. But my house is here. So I wired it up to my, my off grid system. I didn't want to accidentally turn it on because it's like 1200 watts. So what I did is I wired it up to a timer. Okay. So um, I can heat up my engine for five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. And then uh, I wired it up to a one way switch. So it's on the same circuit as my hot water heater, which is also like 1200 watts. Yep. So I didn't want to accidentally turn them both on at the same time. So I wired it so you can only turn one on at a time. So I can either do the engine or I can do the water heater. So I can set it to five minutes and then I can turn it on and then- And then heat. after five minutes, you'll yeah, be able to start your engine. Yeah, well, it uh, depends on the weather. The yeah. colder it is, the, the, the further down the list I gotta get. <laughs> yeah, that's true, I guess. Yep, yep. good point, good point. Uh, this is my inverter. Yep. Uh, it's also a charger, so I have a short power plug mm. and it has an adjustment knob because um, a regular breaker for an outlet is 15 amps, mm. some are 20, and then if you go to an RV park, you can find a 30 amp. So I can adjust how much power I pull out of the building so I don't melt their wiring. So smart. Yeah, talk about this TV. Oh, so uh, this is my 4K TV with surround sound with sub built-in subwoofer. <laughs> you know, nothing, nothing big. <laughs> nothing, nothing too, nothing too yeah. crazy. Yeah, it's a 40 inch TV. You know, awesome. van life, you gotta go small. Yeah, so, well. So you... I, I didn't want to put the 80 in there. I believe I... it's one of the biggest TVs I've seen in a van. Yep, with uh, the sound bar over it, but the coolest part is I have my subwoofer bolted on top of my gray tank for my sink, which is bolted into the seating arrangement. So it uses the gray tank as a reverberation and the whole <laughs> seat vibrates. Like when the, when the explosions go off in the yeah. movie, the entire seat vibrates. I have like 70 Blu-rays <laughs> nice. and uh, I got a PlayStation 4 under there. So that way I can off, I can off grid Netflix and chill. Okay. <laughs> What did you use for your ceiling? So this is just a uh, tongue and groove cedar from Home Depot. It looks beautiful, by and the way. That's what everybody uses. I mean, it's gorgeous, and yeah. it also keeps the bugs away. And then your bed, um, obviously you can sleep very comfortably going across. Yeah, so I built this a queen size queen size bed. Um, this is a twin size mattress on here right now because I, I owned a twin. Yep. And honestly, I ran out of money, so I couldn't buy the, the queen. So, so I spent it all on the rest so of So you're eventually going to just have a queen mattress yeah, on there. Yeah, so, so as soon as I get the extra cash, well, I'm going to do solar pa more solar panels, and then... Um, uh, queen mattress. Uh, oh, and this this is uh, converts into a bed. So I designed these cushions to pop off uh, and be the right size, you know, to go. So you're gonna have guests sleeping. Yeah. So I can. So I'm gonna have a, a, a queen bed and a, a twin guest bed. You showed me really something cool with the bed as well. If you are okay showing that. Oh yeah. So uh, I'm big into action sports, uh, mountain biking, rock climbing, and whitewater rafting. So I wanted so big garage was super important to me. Yeah. So the, most of the, the whole point of this van, like all of this stuff. Is just so I can I can have my garage. So I'll show you my garage here. This like I have a wide angle yep. lens on, but I'm still, guys. I'm trying to explain to you like this thing is massive. 
Yep. So my garage is so high, I can almost fit a bike with the front wheel still attached. It's not long enough, but it is with the, I don't have to put my seats down or anything. John, this is so cool. Yep. And that, that's your Home Depot hot water tank. Yep. So that's uh, it's a German company, I forget the name of it. Okay. But uh, I used the least amount of power. It had the lowest wattage of all the all the little mini hot water heaters. Yeah, yeah. And um, the review said the other one leaked. So I designed that corner, um, has a drain in it. So that's yep. where the drain for all my sinks and stuff go. Oh, cool. But it also has, a, there's just a hole there. So because eventually I'm sure that hot water heater is gonna leak at some point. Mm -hmm. So I have already have that that you now that, that built in for that. You also did something really cool um, that, you know, we're not gonna show the back, but the doors in your back. Yep. You used to be a roll-up door. Yeah, so yeah, it came a roll-up door and I paid um, a, tr a truck repair company nice. to uh, rip out the roll-up door and um, put in uh, put in these barn doors. So they're just flat, um, the same barn doors that are on a regular tractor trailer. trailer. Mm. And um, then I built the cool uh, barn wood part of it. Barn look of it, yeah. To insulate them. And then I have outside lights on them. So when I open them up, I can turn on those super bright outside lights. And then I have the under bed lights. Yeah. So I can light up the whole garage and see what I'm doing at night. Super impressed. This is all DIY. Yep. This is four years of research for you. Oh yeah. Passion of yours. You are you're you're now going to college to do helicopter pilots. Like, dude, this is you are the reason why people should be getting into van life. I'm really glad that you reached out to me and were able to do this tour. Really appreciate you. Uh, just everything that you've done. Yep, yeah, I've been watching your videos for years. So oh, thank you. I, I was really, I was looking forward to the day where I could be one of the videos. You are one of the videos, and I think you're going to get a lot of love from it. Yeah. So, do you have an Instagram? Do you have anything yep. of that so, nature? Uh, the build's all on Instagram. It's StepVan88M. StepVan88M? Yep. So, my job in the military is called 88M or 88 Mike. Okay. So, I was a truck driver in the military. Okay, cool. Which is why I got such a big house because I can literally drive a, a tractor trailer. <laughs> yeah. Did you say what the distance was? Yeah. So, this is uh, 18 feet of cargo space. Yep. And the total overall length is um, 27 feet. Okay. Bumper to bumper. Yeah. And it's a 178 inch wheelbase which is the absolute biggest wheelbase that'll fit in a regular parking spot. So if you back the overhang onto the sidewalk mm -hmm. and you touch the back wheels to the curb, mm -hmm. the front bumper will stop at the very end of the regular parking spot. You know, what did you put into the build? Do you mind saying? Oh, so um, I budgeted 25,000 for the build. Yep. I paid plus three and a half thousand for the truck, which I got a killer deal on. Yep. They usually about 8,000 for You got a killer deal yeah. if you got this for three and a half. Yeah, because it doesn't pass California emissions and it's manual and no, no, the delivery drivers don't want to drive manual anymore. <laughs> and I, the manual was actually the thing that sold it for me. All in 25? Yep, 25. So I got, wow. I joined the army because they gave me a $20,000 bonus. Nice. So I got the bonus, I got the money and I got the time because I had a lot of free time at the end of the day. Yep. And so I, I uh, got the bonus, I got the the time and i i did that for two years well john thank you again and uh and go follow you step van 88 mike or it's 88m yep 88m and we can't just wait to see you in the future pal yep. good luck with everything pal yep.